Hello, this is a lesson on reflections. Uh, so yesterday we learned about translations. Now we're gonna learn about reflections. So remember translations is just taking a shape and then moving it to another location without changing it in any way. A reflection is probably just what you think. Um, it's taking an image and then flipping it. Uh, well, I guess that's not technically flipping it, but taking the image and then putting it over here, but reversing everything that's on it, like you would see in a mirror. Okay, so a reflection, just like you see a reflection in your mirror. That's basically the concept. But here are some things that you need to know about reflections in math. Um, so when a shape is reflected in a mirror, we see a reflection image, and that reflected image is flipped. So if, if a real Miss Bashforth holds up her right hand and looks in a mirror, a uh, mirror Miss Bashforth is not going to be holding up her right hand, she's going to be holding up her left hand because it's on this side, but, but she would be facing this way, right? Um, okay, so things that you need to know is uh, a line of reflection. So this is basically uh, goes in place of a mirror in math. <coughs> so it's usually a dotted line. And um, it is, uh, I guess that's all we need to say about that right now. Let me just move on. Um, so here we have the shape. This is the original. And then this is the image. So this is the reflected image. Um, and things that you need to know is that if you were to join equal points, like the same points on an image, so like this is the same spot as this on the image. Notice how it's two squares in from the point and it's on this side. So if you connect those two points with a line segment, um, it is perpendicular to the line of reflection. So that means that you can draw a little box in here and it'll be a perfect angle right here, a right angle between here and here. Okay, so that's sort of how you can um, begin to find the reflection of an image is by uh, finding, you could even draw this or just use your ruler to make an imaginary line segment and then, and then you can see that these points are um, reflected because it's perpendicular from the line of reflection. I know that's getting into some big words for you, but okay, um, the next thing that you need to know is that the distance between each pair or between each point on each um, image is the same distance from the, from the line of reflection um, as the other one. So that's what these hatch marks are for. Remember in geometry when we used hatch marks for uh, saying that something is the same length? Uh, well, we're going to use that here too. So let's say that this part is the same distance from the line of reflection or the mirror as this part is from the line of reflection. They're just opposite. Okay, so those are the same. So that, that always works that way. Um, and the last thing that you need to know is that a shape and its image have the opposite orientations. That's what it means when I say, okay, this is mirror Miss Bashforth and then this is uh, real Miss Bashforth, I guess. So, so I'm opposite, right? Uh, this side of my face would be this side of the face of the, of the reflected image. Um, so because it is, um, has an opposite orientation, then sometimes we call a reflection a flip because the image is flipped. Okay, so those are the things that you need to know about it. Um, and it's all up here for you to remember. There's a picture for you to remember. Uh, let's get to some examples. So it says, use a mirror when it helps and find the reflection of each shape. So I'm not going to be able to use a mirror on the smart board, but for you to know, this is a mirror. And what you do is you place the mirror on the line of reflection. So I would place it right here. I feel like I could kind of use it because the smart board doesn't technically work. Um, and what these are helpful for is it's kind of like a mirror that you can see through. Okay, so if I place this here, not only can I see, um, actually, if I want to, I want to go on this side. Not only can I see um, the reflection here, I can also see my hand. So if I draw, if I put my mirror here, I can see, and I know you can't see, but I can see that this line here goes right here, 
and this line down here goes right here. So I can actually take my pencil and trace the image that I see in the mirror. I just would need a bigger uh, mirror to properly use this on the smart board. Okay, so that's how you use it. You put this on the line of reflection and then put your head, put your face on the side of the image that you already see and then look into here and you'll see what you need to draw on the other side. You don't need to use that um, for easy images like this, but some of them you will. Okay, so if you think that you can do this by yourself, then please pause and do it now and then play again. Um, and if you would like to see an example of how you might draw one of these, then watch right now. Okay, so first you start with the clo closest or easiest point to make. And there are one, two, three, four, five points on this shape. So I'm going to make those five points on this side and then join them. Okay, so this is the easiest and closest point. I can see that it is one, two squares away from uh, my line of reflection. And this is my line of reflection. So I would go from here, one, two. And this is going to be this point. Okay, I'll put a little dot on there just so that we know we've done this one. Next up, we're going to do this point. So, and it's just going to go straight across because it's perpendicular, so that's easy that this one's up and down. Um, but it is one, two, three, four, five points away. So I start here and go the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, this should be the same thing here um, because I can see that they're on the same line here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, um, next up, now since this is a straight line here um, and it kind of connects from here to here without going here, I can just go from this last point and then count one, two, three, four points, four squares. So one, two, three, four. And then I can go up and I know that they're perpendicular, so I can just draw that point for right here. I know that's going to be right there. And then all I need to do is connect and if I'm doing this on a paper, I'm using a ruler. So that means that you're using a ruler, please. Drawing nice straight lines. And there's my reflection. So I would call this an image. Because think of it, it's just like a picture of the real thing. Okay, so that's that one. Now. If you have not tried one on your own, and you ha if you haven't done these already, then please pause the video and try the next two. They're on the other side of the paper. And then play the video again and um, follow along. Make sure you got the right answer. Okay, they get a little tricky because I made the uh, line of reflection diagonal. Okay, so let's try this one. So the easiest point here would be this one right here. This is the closest. Now, you kind of have to go across uh, this way, sort of the diagonal of the squares to do this one. Um, and we know it goes perpendicular, so I know that this is going to go across one like this, across two, and then across a half. And that's actually supposed to be moved, I think it. The computer moved it. Whatever. It's supposed to be a half. <coughs> so then that means that I have to go a half and then one and then two. So that means that this point is this point right here. Now I only need to find this point. And what I'll do is I find one, two, and a half again. So there's half, one, two. And then I just connect my points. And if I'm using a ruler, it looks a lot more accurate and cleaner. Okay, and there's my image. Now let's try the last one. That one's the hardest one. Um, this is the last one, and it's the hardest one. So the, we start at the easiest point first, which would be right here closest to the line of reflection. You might have used a mirror to help you with this one, but I'll try without because my mirror is so small. Um, so this is half a point away, so I would go right here. 
Okay, and then the next step, this one, and I want my line to be perpendicular, so that would be along those, again, along the corner. So there's one, two, and a half. So half, one, two. This one would go here. This one right here is one, two away. So one, two. And last one. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Now I'm going to erase that so that it's not inside my shape. And then I just connect the dots. This is another spot where a ruler would be really handy. Notice how uh, this follows along the line and that follows along the line. And take a step back, make sure that's correct. Yep, that looks correct. So this is my image. Okay, take a careful look at this and make sure that you did get it and that you do understand the concept. Um, if not, please fix your image and see where you went wrong.